happy public scene for many driving to work in downtown Cleveland today. A man's body lying near the road during the height of rush hour traffic. A construction worker found him near East 76th and Chester Avenue. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska was on the scene within minutes. And Paul, people were actually stunned to see police investigating out in the open. And that's because most death investigations take place in hard to see places or behind closed doors. That was not the case this morning. The body was found during busy morning rush hour traffic. A man working at a nearby construction site saw the body and called police at 8:14 this morning. Cleveland police officers covered the man's body with a sheet, but the medical examiner had to remove the sheet to conduct the investigation and take photos. Numerous people driving east on Chester Avenue could be heard gasping and saying, oh my God, when they realized what they were seeing. Just 20 feet away in the grass, a man's body was being studied for clues into his death. Seeing how busy the street is and that it is a main street, it is um, shocking. People at a busy gas station nearby and others walking by were also upset to see a death investigation up close. Going to work and then you just see a body on the side. So it's, it's pretty nerve wracking. Police found what they suspected to be blood on the sidewalk and placed an evidence marker on the ground. More homicide detectives were called out and collected potential evidence in brown bags. Investigators said the man had lacerations on his face, but weren't sure if he was murdered or the victim of the heat because he was wearing heavy clothing. Police later said they filed a suspected violence report. The medical examiner said he's 58-year-old Roger Copes, who lived nearby. But for those driving or walking by this morning, this is a scene that will stay with them. To see it happen so close is very disturbing. And especially disturbing for those who would get red lights this morning here at this intersection. Look over to their right, and that's when they saw what was happening. The Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner will conduct the autopsy on COPES tomorrow. Live from East 75th and Chester, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.